What's up, nerds? Josh here. Welcome to Neutrino Tech, channel dedicated to the fun, the strange, and little dangerous things that happen here in my lab. On today's episode, I'm going to throw my computer into a fish tank. So stick around. So today I'm gonna to be building a small server for the lab, uh, but I don't like things to be normal. So what I've decided to do is I'm gonna take my computer and I'm gonna actually submerge it in an aquarium. Now, obviously I'm not an idiot. So he's an idiot. Yeah. I know that water and electronics, bad idea. So we're not using water, we're using mineral oil, which unlike water is non-conductive, so we're not gonna fry any electronics. Now there are a few other liquids that you could use for this. Uh, the one that comes to mind is by 3M, it's called Novec. Uh, this stuff is great, it's made for cooling electronics, uh, and when you remove the components, they're bone dry, uh, which is completely unlike mineral oil. I don't recommend doing this on any computer that you plan on using for anything else later because you'll never get it off. Uh, but that Novex stuff is really expensive and I'm a scientist on a budget and I got a bunch of mineral oil for free. So that's what I'm gonna use. Now the aquarium that I'll be using is a 14 gallon bio cube that I kind of hijacked from my amazing wife who's a total reefer head. No, not like that. Like this. Ooh. Ah. Anyway, she had some extra tanks lying around, and this thing is the perfect size. That's what she said? Uh, it looks great, plus it comes with bonus storage cabinet underneath that I'm gonna use for hard drive storage and to hide some other uh, electronic components. So since this is gonna be a small server, mainly for my lab, some file storage, maybe some media streaming, things like that, it's gonna be a relatively basic computer setup. I've got a Republic of Gamers uh, Strix motherboard here, uh, equipped with 32 gigs of RAM and an i7 processor. Um, gonna have a power supply, obviously. Uh, I've got a 256 gig solid state hard drive. Having a solid state drive is, is really important for this project because it's got no moving parts. Uh, a standard hard drive has the spinning disks. There are also small holes in the casing where the mineral oil can seep in. And once that happens, your hard drive's not gonna work anymore. So definitely solid state. Plus solid state drives are faster, more reliable. So it's generally a better choice to go solid state if, if you can. And I won't be needing a graphics card on this. Uh, I'm running a Linux-based server on here. I'm not gonna be doing any graphical processing. But if you want one, you could put that on there as well. The fan, honestly, it's not gonna do a whole lot. I really wouldn't need it. But it's got RGB lights and it looks cool. So we're gonna keep it. Hell yes. But for other cooling purposes, um, I am going to install a radiator in the lid of the aquarium uh, that'll be retrofitted in i'll show you that a little bit later and it's going to be hooked up with uh, silicone tubing silicone is also kind of important avoid regular plastic tubing if you can uh, as it will crack after after a while um, actually this one was submerged and you can see it's 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 much more stiff um, it's not a big deal but go silicone where you can, uh, and then that'll be hooked up with a standard uh, submersible pump for an aquarium, and that'll take care of cooling. Now for the motherboard, I went ahead and I cut a piece of acrylic and actually bolted the motherboard onto that, so that'll actually be able to stand up inside the tank. Um, I've also cut some pieces of acrylic to mount the radiator inside the lid, and pulled all of the old lighting out because I won't need that. Uh, I did, however, install some lighting under the ridge of the, the tank so you'll be able to get some cool effects and whatnot. Okay, before we get started real quick, I just wanted to show everybody the 14 gallon bio cube setup that we got here. Um, like I said before, we've got under cabinet storage for hard drives and the like. 
Up here inside the lid, we've got the radiator with the brackets that I built with uh, acrylic strips. I also took the time to uh, super glue a, actually hot glue, uh, a thermometer here, USB powered, and it'll have a probe that sits inside. Uh, up under the ridge here is an LED lighting strip. And also there's a area back here that for fish tank would normally be used for biomedia and things along those lines. I actually glued some acrylic strips on the back so we don't waste unnecessary uh, mineral oil filling up that back area. And then one last thing for powering on and off, I actually took the front power button out of an old computer and glued it into here so I can lift that to turn that on and off and then I'll just run that to the motherboard. So I think that's it and with that being said, go go building montage. I think that's about it. Uh, I still have to hook up some hard drives and things along those lines, but I'll deal with that later. Now, all we gotta do is plug it in and see if it turns on, hopefully, and then we'll add the mineral oil. Okay, we've got some lights, so that's good. Thermometer's working, got some startup lights. And there we go, we have power. Let's add some mineral oil. my computer in a fish tank. Like I said, I'll probably do a few more things to it. I have to add some hard drives, maybe add like a little bubbler for some effect or something. Um, but that's about it. So if you like the video, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up and hit subscribe and I'll see you next time here on Neutrino Tech.